Hey guys, one of the most widely used methods to supply power to the high side gate drive circuitry is the bootstrap power supply. This bootstrap gate driving technique has the advantage of being simple and low cost. This time we'll see the construction, working and some limitations of this bootstrap gate driving technique. So let's start. Last time we saw how hard it is to switch a high side end channel MOSFET. If you haven't watched that video yet, then please click on this card above to know more about it. Let's see what a bootstrap driving circuit looks like. We'll take an integrated bootstrap driver IC. This driver IC controls both high side and low side switches. For simplicity, there are only three connections that are important for this high side switch point of view. Apart from VDD, input pulse, low side switch control output, and ground connections. These three connections are VB, HO, and VS. There are three more important components being used in this circuit, which are a bootstrap capacitor, a bootstrap diode, and a bootstrap resistor, which are connected like this in the driving socket. Let's consider there are two switches, which are high side and low side switches connected like this. This type of topology is either used in Harbridge converters or synchronous buck converters. A focus is on the high side switch. VS pin is connected to the junction of both of these transistors. HO is connected to the gate of the high side switch. This circuit is very helpful for various switching mode power conversion applications, where input voltage level don't let us use direct gate drive circuits for high side end channel power MOSFET or IGBT. This method is utilized as a gate drive and accompanying by a socket, both reference to the source of the main switching device. Both the driver and bias circuit swing between two input voltage rails together with the source of the device. However, the driver and its floating bias can be implemented by low voltage circuit elements since the input voltage is never applied across the driver components. The driver and the ground reference control signal are linked by a level shift circuit inside the IC that must tolerate the high voltage difference and many capacitive switching currents between the floating high side and ground reference low side circuits. To maintain high efficiency and manageable power dissipation, the level shifter should not draw any current during on time of main switch. Now we'll see how this bootstrap circuit works. This is useful when there is a low side switch. Let's say there is a synchronous buck converter circuit. It has both high side and low side switches. We already know the working of a buck converter. Both transistors should switch one after another to give the required straight down voltage. A focus is the driving part of this upper MOSFET. Let's say we want to switch this MOSFET. When the low side switch is on and high side switch is off, then the voltage at VS goes below the IC supply voltage, that is VDD, or it is pulled down to the ground from this path, and the circuit path gets completed. The bootstrap capacitor charges from the bootstrap resistor and bootstrap diode from VDD power supply until the voltage across capacitor goes nearly equal to VDD. This capacitor doesn't take much time to charge itself. When the low side switch is turned off, the VS is pulled to a higher voltage by the high side switch. The VBS supply floats and the bootstrap diode gets reverse biased and it blocks the current to flow back to VDD. After this, the high side switch tries to turn on. Here, we check this MOSFET. How? Well, the capacitor is charged up to VDD, let's say 12 volts. We know that this voltage is with respect to ground, but the MOSFET doesn't know that. Its only requirement to turn itself on is to have at least a sufficient gate to the source threshold voltage. This capacitor is connected across the source of this MOSFET, and driving logic will take the same charge from bootstrap capacitor to turn it on. And the MOSFET will turn on because the voltage across gate and source would be 12 volts all thanks to this capacitor. 
discharging discharging cycle repeats every time to switch the high side mosfet and that's how a bootstrap gate driver socket works well apart from having the advantage of being simple and low cost this circuit has some limitations we have to charge and discharge this bootstrap capacitor in every switching cycle because of that the duty cycle and on time of the power electronics converter gets limited the biggest difficulty with this circuit is that we observe negative voltage at the source of the high side switching device during turn off which causes load current to suddenly flow in the low side free wheeling diode as we can see in this graph this negative voltage can be trouble for the gate driver's output stage because it directly affects the vs pin of the driver and might pull some of the internal circuitry significantly below ground the other problem caused by the negative voltage transient is the possibility to develop an over voltage condition across the bootstrap capacitor the bootstrap capacitor is charged by the bootstrap diode from vdd power source since the vdd power source is reference to the ground the maximum voltage that can build on the bootstrap capacitor is the sum of vdd and amplitude of the negative voltage at the source terminal which will put the excessive stress on the bootstrap capacitor so we have to be careful while using a bootstrap gate driving technique for high side mosfet switching well that's all about the high side mosfet gate driving using the bootstrap technique I have added all the references related to these circuits in the description. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment section or email me. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video.